Hello, in this uh, simple uh, and very quick tutorial, we would uh, estimate a non-linear ARDL and then conduct co-integration test based on that. We will determine asymmetries uh, based on the NARDL equations. And uh, we thank uh, Hassan Hanif, who has created a very really excellent uh, written blog on that as well. We just want to contribute this uh, simple video tutorial to his excellent uh, support for uh, help in other researchers in this area. Uh, let me quickly introduce how to begin with that. We would need to identify whether our uh, included time series variables are uh, stationary or not stationary and we should make sure that there is no time series variable with the I2 that is the integrated up order 2 and that also means that it should not be stationary at uh, it should not be a unit root at the second differences as well. So I would begin with my dependent variable that I take as a dead and then I would add another uh, independent variable that is uh, exogenous variable as well. So I would uh, first go with my dependent variable and then just uh, click on view unit root and then I would directly click with I, I don't know about that whether it is a unit root in level or not a unit root in first difference or not. We just need to make sure that it is not unit root and second difference. So I would use a Leggy Fuller and I can use any of the, these options as well for intercept or change in intercept. So I already know that the results don't change actually. So let me test whether the second difference and I can see that it is a stationary at a second difference because the null hypothesis is that it is unit root. So rejecting this unit root hypothesis for the second difference says that it is stationary at the second difference. So now I can do that for my uh, another variable that I can take for trade as well. I, I can take for example saving as well. So I would just right click on that, open it and then I would click on view then unit root and also I would do the same thing for the second difference because I know the results for this variable as well because I am using these data frequently for tutorials. So let's say for example uh, what the result says, I, I can see that it is also stationary at the second difference as well. So I can confirm that uh, my variables that is that and savings are not uh, unit root in the second difference so that it is not I2 as well. So I can proceed with creating the positive and negative cumulative uh, sum that is actually done with, by the simple codes and e-views and if one knows how to for example use e-views codes from in the functions. You can just, for example, create uh, the differences and I can just, for example, use these differences to create the differences for, for example, my dependent variable and I would just name it the difference of the debt and then I would replace these variables one by one and then I have just to put my cursor at the end of the code and I just need to click and I press enter so I when I press enter the variable is created because I already have created all my required variable, the positive negative sums and the difference of the positive negative sums and so on. So similarly I have created some other variables. So the debt is also created, the first difference of the debt is there and the remaining codes can be run one by one and you can get these codes from the Hassan Hanif's website as well. So uh, let me share that with the video as well on my YouTube. You can just use these codes one by one and then you can create it. So what, what, whenever you are using this code, you just need to select the code that you want to run. You just need to change the name of the variable with your own variable. And then at the end of the code, the line of the code, you just click and the cursor should be at the end. And then you can just press enter. You will get that the results of these. This is the code. So it will not be produced, but the production uh, and the addition into your data set will be this variable. So you can just see it on my e-views as well. And now once I'm done with creating my positive and negative, and the differences of these positive and negative and the differences of the dependent variable, I can just run uh, my stepwise regressions to select the leg structure. I would just click on options or quick. I would just click on quick and then estimate equations. And from there, I would just, for example, select the stepwise least square. And here I have to specify the equation. And uh, the first should be, for example, in the your dependent variable the intercept and then your independent variable with the first leg and similarly I hope to use a saving that is saving underscore p with 
one link I would use these one links and then saving um, underscore n with one leg so these are these this is my simple linear equations and then I can just use the other component of the series that is for example a combination of different ways from zero and one and I would just copy it quickly just to demonstrate that uh, I would just use these codes from there. You can see that these are the same codes, and you can just do it. And I will just copy it here again one by one. And so the typing would not be, for example, taking our time. You can just save it for your future use because I'm using it frequently. So I just uh, copy and paste from there. So I can see that the dependent variable is taken because in most of the time series, whenever we are working on vector error correction models, the dependent variables should be taken in the difference. And similarly, we have to add other variables into our model. And similarly, we have to find out the leg structure using these combinations. So in eViews, this is telling, for example, that uh, we have to add the combination of these legs from the, from the first leg to the fourth leg. And you can just, for example, change the leg structure. Let me use the three legs here just to show that for example we can use three or four because most of the times in interval time series data the, the maximum maximum leg structure is used in the literature are four or five so this is why we can use four conventionally so i would just for example click on ok before that i will click on option and the selection method should be unidirectional and i can just select backward and i can change this to be zero point because I want to use five percent level and then for example I want uh, if I want to add some weights because I'm not using any weighted level regressions I will not use this one these two should be selected you can just for example change this to point one zero that is a ninety percent confidence level for selection of the regressions it means that reg uh, regresses from this layer of different leg structures so I can just click on OK and I would get the results so this is for example my long run equation and this is the short run equation because most of the times you, you just need to remember that uh, in co-integrating vectors and vector reduction vector error correction models the coefficients uh, with the variables and not with the differences is long run in coefficients uh, of the variables with the first differences or the second differences included in the model are usually the short run equation so we can just make uh, it like this and once it is done i would be then uh, making sure that uh, there is any co-integration I would click on view and then coefficient diagnostics and then what test them. And I have to make sure that I have to test these three, the long run coefficients to be equal to zero. There is a giant F statistic for co-integration and we can use the on 2001 paper for the reference. So I would just, for example, type that is the truth because I selected C to be the first coefficient and then second and third and fourth, this is the first part of the equation. So I would just make sure that it is equal to then the third in the series and then fourth and R should be equal to zero. That is a co-integration test and that is the giant statistic on testing the hypothesis. These three variables in the long run part of the equation is equal to zero. So I have to check for example this statistic with a piece around table and most of the times we can use the one percent or the five percent and you can just change for example the leg structure from three to four to find out whether there is any estimation or not so let me see for example when i change the part to four with the leg structure in the equation so when it is four i will do the same thing it will be the same part of the equation and i can just go back to the word statistic and just uh, type that part of the equation again and make it equal to zero and would test it so i can see that the, the hypothesis and the test statistic is changing and i need to see that whether the piece around table and i have to make sure that the result is uh, confirming the integration so once it is done we will then proceed towards uh, determining the symmetric nature of the model and i would have to do that accordingly with uh, the same wall statistic and this time I would have to test the hypothesis that my third coefficient that is the first exogenous variable in corresponding to the dependent variable in the part of the equation the ratio of these two is equal to actually to the fourth 
coefficient that is the second exogenous variable with a negative sum cumulative sum if you have a different order for example first is a negative and then the positive you can just change the order of these coefficients and then uh, the ratio of the two variables to the coefficient of the dependent variable should be equal to zero and we can just use the statistic to make sure that whether there is any asymmetry or not we just need to find out the values from literature for this and the hypothesis should be used accordingly so once it is done you can just for example go back to the estimation window just click on this and then estimation output and the coefficient of the variables should be actually taken the ratio of this coefficient to this and similarly the ratio of this coefficient to this these would part would be the part of your long run equation so how i would do that i can just for example for using uh, my own handheld calculator to find out the ratio of these two to find out the long run part of my equation that would be that would be the part of equation i would be interpreting for my writing of the results and so on so and once it is done you can just for example do the other test with it for example whether there is any serial correlation or there is any normality issue and so on i can just find out that and i'm sure that this quick tutorial would support you to understand the excellent work of hassan hani and i'm thankful to him for his uh, opportunity that he has given to us to identify this complex method and very easy way and thank you very much thank you bye bye